Hi guys, I'm back tonight and um, I've been down at the art gallery all night working and got really inspired, came home, I'm tired, it's late, I really should be in bed, but you know, you ever get the feeling you just have to release some energy, so I'm gonna do one quick pour, I'm gonna do a Dutch pour tonight and just kinda get it out of my system before I go to bed. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm gonna cover my canvas in white and this is a 12 by 24 canvas. Um, I am using the Artist Loft White tonight and I have mixed it with Liquitex Basics Pouring Medium. Um, and then for my colors that I'm going to use for my Dutch Pour, I have Arteza Velo Green mixed with the Liquitex Pouring Medium. I have um, a Apple Barrel Yellow mixed with some lime green and flow troll and water to get my consistency then i also have um, what is called this is a new one to me anyway color shift if you can see that it is a green iridescent um, metallic gloss finish paint by folk art and i've mixed that with my liquitex pouring medium and a little bit of water as well so I'm um, gonna cover my canvas in white and I'll be right back to do the pour. Okay, now that I have my canvas covered in my white paint, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle my paint onto my canvas to blow it out. I'm gonna start with the phalo green. Go in with my yellow. Oh, the dryer is done. That just means chores. <laughs> Laundry that I'm too tired to fold tonight. Oh well. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my light green. in with that color shift iridescent such a pretty color I don't know if you can actually see that very well in the camera really beautiful it's funny on my way home tonight I was tired but I was hungry because I hadn't eaten dinner and it was already nine o'clock and I'm thinking what is open oh Chinese sounds good so I order some chicken chop suey and I get there to pick it up. It's only a mile from the house. And I don't look in the bag. So I get all the way home, change into my comfy clothes, get ready to sit down like, oh, yes, I'm going to enjoy this chop suey. And I take it out of the bag and I realize it's um, uh, sweet and sour pork or sweet and sour chicken. I don't know which um, with fried rice. And it was and some crab rangoon that I did not order. And at the same time, my phone rings and the gal at the New China tells me, oh, you have the wrong order. And uh, I said, well, I didn't touch this. Do you want me to bring it back? And she told me, no, just keep it. And if you want to come pick up the right order. And I said, sure. So I got two orders of Chinese, which I'm only one person tonight. So I didn't need all that. But um, did get some free crab rangoon. And, you know, those are always good. All right. So now that I've got this on my canvas, I'm gonna come around with some more white and I'm gonna pour it around the sides and then I'm gonna blow it over with my blow dryer and cover the paint and then we'll blow it out. Oh boy, I mixed maybe just enough, even, I'm a little shy, perhaps. I think it'll be okay. We'll still be able to blow it over and cover it, I think. 
but that was pushing it a little bit. All right. So now I have to, well, actually first, before I do that, I'm going to take my heat gun and get the bubbles out. I can see some bubbles in my paint on the canvas and I really don't want a whole lot of selling going on in this. So that should help eliminate that issue. So I'm going to turn my blow dryer on and turn on a high setting and on a cool setting and blow the white over the paint. So we basically blew it over the top and then I'm going to go from the middle and blow my paint out in different directions. quite the effect I'm going for, so we're going to have to improvise a little bit. I don't know if my paint was not thin enough. It didn't want to seem to blow very well. So we're going to see what we can do here to help it out. Pretty color. Some of it's trapped underneath the white, though. 
trying to get that opened up. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Liking that much better. Really pretty. And that iridescent color shift is coming up through just as planned. Um, I picked this color, color palette from another video that I watched earlier today. Um, I can't think of the artist's name. I'll put it in the description link down below because I can't think of it. Um, but I really liked the color palette that she used and mine is close yellow might have been a little bit different but um, I'm liking how this is looking at the moment so I think I'm gonna 
I don't know if I want to heat heat it up with my heat gun again to see if I get more cells. Maybe I'm really not looking for any more cells. I might just do a little bit of blowing right in here to get some more of that phalo to come through. such a pretty green. I think I'm liking that. I'm going to let it sit and dry overnight and I will come in and show you the results in the morning. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and uh, you'll get notifications of other videos that I do. And um, y'all have a good night. We'll show you the final result in the morning. Okay, it's morning and I've come down to see how this is drying. I really wish I would have used a little bit more of the phalo green um, to get my effects, but all in all, I'm happy with it, how I blew it out more with the straw. It was much in need of that. <laughs> Next time, I think I'm going to use more paint for my colors and maybe flood it with a little bit more white and perhaps I'll get the effect I'm looking for. So yeah, that's how it's turned out this morning. You can see that color shift that was the, um, this right here. It's even got the, the whole bottle is iridescent looking. So it's kind of a goldish green, but I can see that picking up. And it's not fully dry. And of course, once I varnish it, that will really make the colors pop even more. But um, give it a try with your blow dryer. I don't think mine is very powerful. And not necessarily that you need a very powerful one. But um, this one was only like $12. So I think I'm going to upgrade my blow dryer situation as well. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the um, thumbs up and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. And you'll get video notification next time I post. Thanks, you all have a good day.